Uh, good morning. Uh, I have um, decided to speak about uh, the top 10 uh, nutrients and medications that we can use for anti-aging medication. Um, and I've picked uh, a group that essentially consists of a program that I developed in my clinic called POW, the Program for Optimal Wellness. And one day I was uh, playing with my uh, superhero toys, and I got the idea to develop three programs, one called POW, one called BAM, and one called WAP. And the POW program was a program for optimal wellness, and it basically consists of the items you see on this page. And then BAM was best aging males, and WAP was women aging perfectly. And I put these together uh, for patients as mechanisms that we could use uh, to, to reduce the, uh, the aging process and hopefully uh, improve longevity. Now, because of the time limitations today, um, I'm going to only talk about the items on the left. Uh, these are medications. And I've started to take all of these medications myself. Uh, I take metformin despite not having diabetes. Uh, I take a low-dose statin despite not having uh, very high cholesterol. I take baby aspirin. Uh, I take Tadalafil. And I take a carnosine compound. And then I also take the... Uh, the supplements on the right as part of this uh, anti-aging program. So I'd like to talk about e each of these in turn. In terms of, uh, to begin with metformin, metformin we know is a very popular anti-diabetes drug, the most popular one in the world, and it's been uh, in uh, for sale and use in patients for at least 50 years. And the reason we like it is it doesn't cause hypoglycemia, it has a very high margin of safety. Well, we'll be talking about it in terms of what it can do for anti-aging as opposed to the treatment of diabetes, in particular with respect to the effect that metformin has on cancer treatment and prevention, as well as metformin as a potential calorie restriction mimetic. And we'll see that it has effects on genes uh, similar to calorie restriction. The reason that metformin works uh, relates to the fact that cancer cells, by and large, virtually all cancer cells, uh, are restricted in terms of uh, their glycolytic pathways, and they eat glucose as their, as their main food. And as a result, they have uh, about nine times as many insulin receptors on their cell surfaces as regular cells. So metformin capitalizes on this fact, and it favorably affects uh, sugar and insulin metabolism. And this relates to the fact uh, that metformin upregulates an enzyme known as 5 prime. Uh, adenosine monophosphate kinase, uh, which is known as AMPK. Uh, AMPK levels, when they're elevated, is a good thing for anti-aging uh, because AMPK, when it's upregulated, blocks expression of cancer-promoting genes, uh, and in particular, it phosphorylates and activates the tumor suppressor gene P53. We know that diabetics, because they have, in general, higher circulating levels of glucose, because uh, cancer cells eat glucose so avidly, they're at increased risk for various types of cancer. And in particular, diabetics are at increased risk for hepatomas, primary liver cancers, and pancreatic cancers. They're at moderately increased risk for colorectal, endometrial breast, and kidney cancers. And the numbers look like this. Uh, if you look at the studies in the literature, Diabetics have two-and-a-half-fold increased risk of pancreatic cancer. They're about double the risk of liver cancer, about double the risk of endometrial cancer, close to double the risk for kidney cancer, and about 30% increased risk for colorectal cancers. And this is due to the fact that there's just more sugar around for the cancer cells to eat. So uh, a number of studies have been done with respect to metformin and cancer incidence and also treatment. Uh, a Dutch study included 85,000 type 2 diabetics. They took either metformin or a sulfonylurea, and they were followed for a period of 10 years. The relative risk of a cancer diagnosis was 10% less for metformin versus sulfonylurea. And in particular, the cancers that were lower were esophageal, gastric, colon, liver, pancreatic, lung, breast, and prostate. We know that metformin can decrease cancer risk in diabetics by as much as 54%. In this study um, of diabetics, type 2 diabetics, they took a little over 4,000 control patients who didn't take metformin and an equal number.